Welcome, my name is Margot Fuchs-Knill and I'm the Dean of the Division of Arts, Health and Society. We are going to introduce to you the ETS faculty members for our summer school 2022. They are going to share with you their specific contributions for this summer school especially as we are challenged by crises, multiple crises. I am standing here shaken myself by these crises. And yet we became a global village and we are citizens of humanity. Working with the expressive arts will give us another chance to train to be human, to move beyond polarization, beyond blaming and shaming. Whatever I personally teach, we will approach it through a fresh lens, where the human relationship is at the core we will ask ourselves, how can we build connectivity, hope, trust through the expressive arts? At the core of my teaching is the wisdom of poetic language, the language of the soul. That goes directly from heart to heart and doesn't know borders. I will teach in that resource-oriented attitude, the exams and also life coaching, where you train how to give, how to uh, give an expressive art session life. In other words, we learn not from mistakes. We want to anchor what works. And I pass it on to my dear colleague and friend, Melinda Meyer. Thank you, Marga. My name is Melinda Ashley Meyer DeMott, and uh, I'm a core faculty member at uh, the European Graduate School. And uh, my passion is for expressive arts and peace building and global health. Health building is peace building and we, it, we are called for in the face of the war in Ukraine today, we are called for all over the world to come with the arts as the third to help us connect, help us unite and to refine peace. I will be teaching the exams and I will be teaching in the master's program. And I will also be teaching uh, in the CAGS program, the research part. My research has been for the last 30 years on how can the arts facilitate in the face of war, people in liminal spaces, not knowing where to go, where to hide or where to run. So I'm looking forward to us to meet and to work on this together. And I passed it on to my colleague, Rosalind. Hello everyone, I'm Rosaline, and I'm very proud to be also part of this uh, faculty of EGS. And I'm a multimedia visual artist and my contribution really is to inspire you, to make you play, uh, to show you how to weave uh, the digital tools with your embodied hands-on practice. And I will contribute to the digital art festival that we are going to have this summer. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to give you some tips on how to communicate 
uh, your art through also the digital media. And I'm going to pass it on to my dear, dear teacher, Greer. Thank you, Rosalind. Yes, my name is Judith Greer Essex, or Greer. I'm a professor in the CAGS doctoral program, and I will be teaching philosophy, what underpins our practice, what underpins our theory, what are we thinking about when we're doing what we do. I will also be a proctor in the exams, and I will be teaching the didactic class for the CAGS program, Community Art, as well as facilitating a lab, I like to call it, where the whole community will make community art together. Excuse me. My focus, or my passion, among other things, but primarily, is embodiment how important our corporeal being, our fleshy flesh, is in understanding our relationship to one another, to the world, through the arts. We make art with our bodies, and I like to help you enliven yourself and then your connection to others in this time where we have never needed more the ability to connect with an open heart to one another. Let's play. And I pass it to Carrie Ann. Thank you, Greer. My name is Carrie Ann, and I'm from Norway, and I will be a teaching intern in this year's summer school session one. And I am very honored and grateful to be given this opportunity to intern and assist and support my beautiful teachers that I've studied with for eight years at EGS. I did my master's and CAGS program there, and now I'm a PhD candidate. Um, Melinda, my Norwegian Institute teacher, once called EGS a laboratory for peace. And um, this is what I hold close to my heart in this time. And I cannot think of a better time to meet and do the fleshy flesh experimentation to find peace between us. What does it mean? What does it look like? What does it feel like? What does it smell like? What does it do with us to experience it firsthand? And uh, my passion and PhD project is to explore a sense of belonging. What helps us feel like we truly belong in our hearts, in our bodies, and in our communities. And I'm very excited to be part of uh, the faculty and get a taste of it. And I really hope to see you in South Bay or online at EGS this summer. And I will pass it to Fulia. Thank you, Karianne. Yes, my name is Fulia Kurtar Husinski. And I'll be holding this space with Greer and Judith uh, as a teacher, teaching assistant, yes. And also I am from Istanbul. I am the founder of the Institute. And I know more like how to be resilient. So our logo is a goat. And these are the challenging times. So that we really need those qualities. And I'm looking forward to be in South Bay. Um, I think uh, I will be also offering my sensitivity and open heart and uh, my love of expressive arts to the group and playfulness too. I have very fiery part too. So let's see what's waiting for us and what we are gonna co-create together. And I can share sometimes in the group little aesthetic responses. And here is one for, for you. This is what I just did in the yesterday's class um, when we were talking about our resources. 
So looking forward to explore each other's resources in these challenging times. Um, pass it on to Barbara. Hello, my name is Barbara Hircha. I am Assistant Dean of the Arts, Health and Society Division and faculty member. I will be teaching in the Masters and the Doctoral Program in both summer schools. I am teaching and living from an existential position that places the art at the center of our humanness. Art as a source of our humanness. And this is the position I will share from in the summer schools. I will also serve the community as a counselor and as a musician. What has stayed with me um, is that the actual situation does not change my existential position, but reinforces it unexpectedly stronger and stronger in the last years, and also in the current situation with Ukraine. And I would like to share with you a quote by a philosopher, Michel de Montaigne, from the 16th century. And I will share it in German and then in English. Ich kann mir keinen Zustand denken, der mir unerträglicher und schauerlicher wäre als bei lebendiger und schmerzerfüllter Seele der Fähigkeit beraubt zu sein, ihr Ausdruck zu verleihen. I can think of no condition so unbearable and horrible as to have my soul alive and wrecked with pain, but deprived from the ability to express itself. So let's, let's share and be strong together to hold what is there to hold. And I will pass it on to Heather. Thank you, Barbara. My name is Heather Dawson, and I teach a few things. Where I really want to speak, though, is uh, to what I consider to be a place of resting, which is one tradition that we have at the school, which is there's a, a, a class where you come and Perhaps you have a structure that you're given for your next steps and so on. And why I'm mentioning this is because uh, my sense is, is that in this time where there is so much unknown, I believe that this offering that we have at EGS, where you have this opportunity to come and go uh, and have a kind of a groundwork for play, a place where you move out into your other courses. So I'm very grateful to have the opportunity of being one of a number of people who, who hold that role within the summer school. Uh, I also do the theory classes, exam classes, and one of the things that I really want to add there in appreciation for the way that we work is this idea of finding ways to uh, support each other. We would call it a resource oriented way of working uh, and something that I call feed forward, where we're able to actually speak about what next steps are in ways that are really useful in our own learning our learning as instructors and our learning as, as folks who are, who are here for studying. So, ah, I also wanted to mention 
uh, arts festival. I'll also be contributing to that. And there I want to say that I'm taking a look at ecological boundaries in our, in our work with, with the arts. I want to pass this on to somebody who I would be passing things on to within the way that we do this at EGS. When you've completed a class, you pass it on to the next instructor. And I do this all the time with this person, uh, Andreas. Thank you, Ada. I'm Andreas Meyer from Switzerland. I'm a faculty member for a few years. I'm teaching the course of body theater and the context of digital arts. And my contribution in this challenging time is really present, present in my body, present in my thoughts and mind, and also the soul of really being there for the person who is important right now, but also with my heart opening up to what's going on right now in the bigger world. So I think what we offer at EGS is really holding that uh, in our creative process and that we really help each other to grow within that part. I would like to pass it on to Wes. Thanks, Andreas. Um, yeah, my name is Wes Chester. I'm a faculty member of EGS for a few years now. And um, my contribution this summer will be leading uh, a nature outing into the beautiful landscape around the campus and uh, getting into a place where we can experience both solace and connection that nature can provide. Um, I will also be providing a podium lecture and helping to accompany community art uh, with uh, Barbara and Greer. Um, I look very much forward to returning to my home away from home in the Swiss Alps. And uh, I would love to see you there too. And I will pass to Jose Miguel. Thank you, Wes. Uh, yes, my name is uh, Jose Miguel Calderón. I am uh, originally from Peru. Now I'm living in, in Spain. And I am the program director of the CACS PhD studies. And uh, I'm, I'm, in, I'm also teaching no, in, the, in the CACS and in the master um, classes. And what I want to offer is a, 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 play, a space of encounter, no, a safe space of encounter, no? a, a, a place where we can uh, meet, where we can play, where we can um, connect with our creativity and as well connect with, with uh, an international community, uh, with the arts and also connect with uh, the situation we are living, the crisis, the multiple crises that we are living no? and, and see if, if our field can be a response to, to these challenges or in what way it can be a response. So we will be addressing that, you know, uh, how, how we can encounter now with, with these situations that, that we are living you know, and what requires from us, from our field, you know, what, what tools do, do we need? You know, and, and especially doing this um, in, in, in community, which is, I think, one of the most important things to be together in these times, no? to be as a comunitas together, faculty, students, no? being, being together, thinking, playing, doing art, because we need to be together and, and inspire us in this time that we are going to be together to see what, what, what's the best way to respond to, to what we are facing in, in our different communities. So I'm really looking forward to meet you there.
Hot. <laughs> <laughs>